some people, you know, when death occurs to the near and dear one, uh, they never weep, you know. Mostly politicians, I will not name them. You will find them, they will have a straight face as if, you know, they are not human beings and uh, they don't uh, feel the, miss the person who has been all through or something like that. And um, they are very straight uh, forward and they look like this and all go to the funeral. And everything without any change in the face. No grief is shown because it's a civilization. You, know, you should not show your feelings. So you are not doing that. But in ancient India, uh, there is a practice that uh, in a village, if a person kicks the bucket, what happens is that four or five people come, you know, and they come and start weeping. They are not related to the person. Opari, they call it. It's a music, you know. And somebody wrote a PhD thesis on Opari from Chennai, you know. I am searching for it. So that Opari is done, you know. The idea is that by doing, because this person, even if he is not going to weep, because if he starts uh, listening to this sort of uh, versification and all, you know, which says that, oh, you are gone, oh, when are you going, when am I going to see you and all that. This person will also start weeping. Oh, I <laughs> So to make you weep, you know, the Opari people come and uh, do Opari. Right? So the idea is that it gives a emotional expression because you are not putting that emotion inside your pocket. If you are going to pocket that emotion, and not expressing it freely, what is going to happen? There are many psychologists here. They will agree with me. The suppression of expression is going to create a tremendous uh, clog inside you. And they will come in various ways. Maybe uh, the cancer, I don't know what are the things. Maybe, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure about it because I've not made any scientific study on that. But I know that they can give rise to many psychosomatic ailments. So it's essential that the emotion felt has to be expressed. But unfortunately, all the time, it is not at all possible. Because you cannot call, a pot cannot call kettle black or something they say. No, pot cannot call kettle black. So sometimes our expressions, you know, we are not able to express because of our own inadequacies. But we want to express, but we are not able to express. The others will mistake you, others will not take you lightly. The society will not approve your expression of feelings. That's the main problem with the mentally retarded children, because they are expressing some feelings very, very naturally, which the society is not able to absorb. So they classify them as mentally retarded children. So this is very unfortunate, but it is it is this, you know, in the society we, we have inherited and we have to live in a society, we cannot get out of it and go to a jungle or something like that. Maybe many people are doing, I found, I was last month I was in Himalayas, in various villages and all that I was visiting. Then I found lots of people walking from Rishikesh to Badrinath, you know, just uh, with, a, with a small bag, that's all. I don't know what they have, whether credit card or anything they have, I don't know. But only a small bag, and they are making walking. And I asked one of them, how many days it takes you to reach? He says, I am not bothered. I know that before the temple closes for winter, I will reach. I am not bothered, I reach today, I reach tomorrow, I reach 10 days later, I reach one month later, I just enjoy going, that's all. But in the act of doing itself, you are having the sense of satisfaction. Because your result doesn't matter. I am doing this, I am happy. That is my award. That's my reward. They call means should be the end, you know. So before ending, I will come to the means. Now the next one is... Yes, this is a consoling alpha. Let's see how it consoles. Try to see the love in the music. Love should be seen in the music, not in word, you know, not in talking.
know, these are the expressions, you know, that come, you know. These are the expression in uh, tones, you know. And compassion, compassion means uh, fellow feelings, you know. You are sympathizing, empathy, you can find this. So I have, I have limited time, so I go next. This is uh, beta ragas, the active one. You just see how active it is. It's for the purists, I excuse, because in Chennai a lot of purists are there. In fact, it's very difficult for me to talk about musicology in Chennai because there's so much of knowledge around and uh, people argue over which Chatur Shruti Jeva should be there or such Susi should be there and uh, three, four hours people, you know, split their hair. So I don't want to become bald, so, you know, uh, what I feel is that, you know, I withdraw myself and, uh, but you enjoy the music, don't think on it. I think you are familiar with this. <laughs> Every day morning, you know, it wakes up a lot of seven hills and also your family and yourself. So this is a time, not only time tested raga is this, it is a time honored because they are using for God, you know. You can't get a better raga for this. <laughs> Just uh, that's enough actually because uh, we have to finalize uh, stimulating. This is a very interesting, uh, aggressive, aggressive raga. In, in fact, I found that the emotionally uh, disturbed people, you know, they succumb very fast to this type of ragas. The moment you play the raga, that's, I think, you know, most of the teenagers, I'm sorry if there are teenagers here, are emotionally disturbed. Yeah, because, you know, many people don't know uh, what sort of job I will get, what sort of education, whether I will pass the exam sometimes, <coughs> there's so much of competition around me. So they are very much emotionally disturbed. It is necessary that these children are given this type of ragas. Yeah, they, they themselves will go for it. You don't have to keep them.
make so sorry to cut short a a anger in raga but it's very pleasantly done even if it's angry you know it's very pleasant even, even the brithangam is very angry some sort of compromise in fact this ending in carnatic music is very essential because whenever there is a debate in music it ends like it ta ra 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 ta ra 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 like that three times you know like om shanti om shanti om shanti so you do all your jugglery your fight your debate everything but ends up in peace that's what the information given This is the one we already discussed about it. How Indian music is able to balance uh, emotion with analysis. <laughs> You must be familiar with all these. Many of you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a modern healthcare and blah blah and all that. A lot of blah blah will be there in my writing. So you have to tolerate that if you want to know what is music therapy. but i feel that uh, if you understand this much is more than enough you don't have to buy any books or anything like that you will waste your time and uh, what you have to do is to give yourself to music you have to surrender it's like god music is a div divine divine expression which is available to us so unless we surrender to it we will not be able to get best out of it I think that these words, these words are more than actually. I will use so much of words. I am sorry if I have over spoken, and uh, because many things have to be done, as I told you, under spoken, we have to speak less and understand more and communicate more. That is possible with music. So any any time, that's why somebody said you, it's it's impossible to talk about music because it's only mad people who talk about music. so probably i have to become one of the members of the institution where i used to go for therapy but uh, which i don't intend to do it it's not because i don't like it rather i like this place but because i have to do something more in this in this uh, beta you know uh, existence thank you very much
And I thank all of you to come and the people who have organized this, uh, my, my gratitude to them. Thank you very much. Good question. Yeah, I, I, I assure you that. This is just to show you yes. how, how much my, uh, this receptacle here has uh, taken total of four days. Right. First about the, I am like a tube light. Uh, at the first breathing out exercise, you said, my reaction comes just now. Okay. When you asked what, what did you feel during the breathe out? Yeah. Of course, not many people came, uh, when, uh, perhaps only one uh, reaction was there. I was afraid of giving my reaction. Now I can give it. Because I didn't know what to say at that time. But it should not be an afterthought reaction. No, it was not an afterthought. <laughs> it was a forethought that came afterwards. Okay, <laughs> that's wonderful. That's very good. <laughs> what happened was, Sorry. you were asking specifically about the, uh, about the frequency, about the, about the uh, yes. vibration, yeah, like that. Yeah, rhythm. I was not uh, sure whether to tell you that. No. But then I realized, when you came to Soham, <coughs> at the age of 12, when I was given my uh, uh, threat ceremony, one of the acharyas gave me the rule for pranayama, not like doing just to do it this, no. this way, a full way of doing this from home boo up to this one, and uh, not uh, three thrice, but not ten times, but three times like that. The breathe in uh, deeply, and then hold the rounds. Go on saying the same mantra a number of times, and then breathe out very easy. And they're saying that same mantra, Om Bhu, to Om Bhu, to Om The point is, I learned it, and that mantra also helps. <laughs> away from all your uh, the vibrations, the vibration is overridden by, you are feeling, you are flying into space. Yes. At the age of 30, and I could hold that. So at the age of 14, when they took my measurement, it was seven, 70 meters expansion of uh, breathing. Oh, so it is, it is not merely the question of uh, vibration. The vibration is to be added to the frequency. Thank you very much for this valuable information. Give a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Dr. Pindu Yeah. I actually was instrumental in the initial setting up of the department because I set up the wellness Your center. Name? Dr. Preeti Kachari. I'm a neurologist. Okay. Uh, so I was instrumental in setting up the wellness center and the music therapy department was part of that. Oh, well, congratulations. And, uh, she has been working with Balamuri Krishna. She's uh, his disciple, as it were. And she's had a teaching post in the University of Madras as well. And uh, I have used her CDs for patients. But what is what she were? Yeah, because what, it counts me more. But you there were. has been a differential response. Okay. So some patients are delighted with the response. Okay. Some are not. So to answer your question. Oh, that's well. Thank, fact, thanks for this information. A categorical segregation of this raga for that condition will have to be also qualified with the personality of the individual listening to it. Because here there's a lot of, it's not purely an objective experience. It's also a subjective experience. Yes. I think it's basically subjective, not so, objective. Exactly. The, so Music if, is subjective if it was as our objective, ancestors have told You can say it. this is that and be prescriptive. But when there's so much subjective over view, over shades uh, or shading, the whole thing, experience, it's a bit difficult to classify. But I think one point we can all agree on is that we all know in normals, maybe you should first study people, just normal people and see which raga gives what emotional response to majority of the persons in a group. That we can all agree on. We know there are certain music, certain, certain music which excites us, which suits us, which puts us to sleep as you said. So then, perhaps if you couple no, that actually, with... Actually, I bet you differ on this aspect only. Only this aspect. Why we went to uh, retarded children? It's because uh, they are instantaneous. No, I agree. Whereas, uh, uh, norm, we normal people... We give our opinion we first, on uh, We are not... Uh, at first hand, we don't react. No, we are also then opinionated. We, we, then we invent, you know. Yeah, because we then we say, oh, it's uh, Balamurri Krishna. It's a wonderful song. No, it's no, therapeutic. No, fact, That's how we come to conclusion. What I would suggest is maybe even she can do it. But and maybe the, we can the do children, it. mentally children, they don't have those... We are recording EEGs regularly for other purposes. We can play certain music in the background and observe if the patient's EEG is modified. That is something where we can probably take up a... But actually what work. we did was, I will explain how we did. We, we divided it into three groups, uh, excessively uh, retarded and medium retardation and near normal. I found a lot of difficulties with near normal groups because near normal groups are like us, you know. 
and they they resist even for music sometimes they start resisting also and then they comment also what sort of music is this what is this like that they comment whereas those excessively retarded also they they are not very cooperative with us because they live in their own world so the medium one was very helpful for us we found what sort of impact a particular raga or a particular composition gives that's that's very true yeah. that's how we selected them as a no, maybe we should do different so, groups, that's all. For a therapeutic approach to uh, solving disability issues, uh, it's been contended that what is necessary today is not a disability certificate, but a certificate of abilities. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the I think very few of us will get. Sir, what should be the future for us? Uh, we should adopt the over-the-counter approach which is I got for some anacin or acrosin or metacin for some of my common problems or a customized individual treatment. My advice is leave for the present and forget about the future. <laughs> don't go for too much. Don't worry about it. Be happy, don't worry. I still like to the question. There is a customized individual treatment uh, told by American Music Therapy Association, which is Understand the patient thoroughly. Yeah. Understand his environment. His, his yeah, I believe in that. I believe in that. But I don't want to say anything for future. You know, I don't know the present. How will I go for future? <laughs> so now, you know, what I feel is, uh, what you are saying is very correct. That uh, customized, uh, we find, in fact, our experiments say that, uh, like, uh, you know, like Anasin or like the CD you are talking about, that I write CD for hypertension. We make a CD. We can also make. There are a lot of people are demanding us to please, you know. But we said we ourselves are not known which CD will work, which will not work. But now the CD, if I make for hypertension, I distribute to. I am sure that maybe 50 percent, 50 percent will react this way and that way. Uh, because there are so many factors that inhibit us. Because we have got music barriers. Each one of us has music barrier. Even your mood when you're listening to the music. Mood. That's a very important the, Yeah, that's very, very and important. The same music may yeah. please you one You said time it. And displease you another yeah. time. You said it. I really thank some of my old colleagues here, like Warren, <coughs> who has come to see my dream. As, uh, as we have been talking, Warren, it's just a beginning. <laughs> we will see this maybe globally, you know. I, we will come to Australia, we will talk about boss. We will talk about boss in Europe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, boss. <laughs>